Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to connect GoDaddy domain to Wix websites in 2024. So to connect your GoDaddy domain to your Wix website, you will basically have to edit some DNS settings on your GoDaddy domain. It's very easy to do. You'll just have to follow the instructions provided by Wix and it should be good to go. So make sure to stick by and let's get started. So make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, you'll need to go and open a browser. Here I'm using Brave for you. You can use as you want. Once you open it, go to the URL section. Basically, just go to uh, Shopify.com as an example. Oh, sorry, not Shopify. Go to GoDaddy.com. Open a new tab and go to Wix.com. Go to both. Make sure to log in into your account, of course, in in Wix and even in GoDaddy. For me, I'm already logged into both. Here on uh, GoDaddy, I'll just go to my products. So basically, I'll go here to domains and click on search for domain name if you don't have one. But for me, I'll just go here and click on my products example. And Wix as an example, I will not need Wix at the moment. Uh, so it puts in a hold for a second. So here an example, if I go to my products, at the moment, you don't have any domain yet. Make it easier for customers to find your website by attaching a domain. So at the moment, it seems like I don't have any domain. So I need to get one, right? Of course, if you don't have a domain yet like me, or maybe you forgot to renew one, uh, make sure, as an example, if you want, you can even get the domain name on Wix uh, to connect it right away from there. But if you already have it or you don't, you just want to get some GoDaddy, you can simply click on Manage All. Of course, you can renew the one that you had or simply find your first domain or a new domain. As an example, here, just type the domain that you want. Maybe, as an example, I want maybe this one, uh, simplestats.com, click on Search. As an example, so yeah, it seems like, as you can see, I would get it with one cent for the first year if I get to three year terms. I'll look for a, like a cheaper one because after that I'll have to pay $22. I already have one on cart, so I'll just, yeah, I have this one, like uh, mrarmix.shop, which is I'll have just to pay $1.5 for the first year. So as an example, I just want to get this for a year, so why not get this one? Good. It seems like very pretty good. So I'll just go here and click on looks good. Keep going because I already added to cart. I don't need to add it. You here you can add whatever you want to it, like protection, etc. For me, no domain protection needed. Uh, of course, this included with domain for free. And I don't need any professional email. So just go here and click on continue to cards. Once I do so, I should be taken to the checkout basically page. Here as you can see, this is the amount that you ha I have to pay $1.5. If I want to get one year. If I want to get two years, it will be not just the double like. <laughs> you'll have to multiply it per I don't know how much but it's a lot if you want to get 10 years as an example it will be even like more you they'll not even give you a discount or they actually give you a nine percent discount but it's actually nothing so I'll just guess one year as example here click on pay with PayPal or I'm ready to pay if you want to pay with your card whatever suits you and yeah you can even get like the dot com with it's dot net uh, with just twelve dollars for this with just twelve dollars for this and with ten dollars for dot org and yeah uh, you can even manage wordpress basic as example with this uh, if you want to get with this as example you'll get to manage wordpress hosting plus a free domain so once you get it now if you go to godaddy as example if you go to your products right here so all you need to do now is simply go to domain, click on manage all. And here, of course, basically you'll find your domain. So all you need to do just access DNS settings because we'll make some changes into that. So now uh, just go, uh, once you access DNS settings, just go into Wix here. Once you go to Wix, make sure to go to specific website that you want to connect, like uh, this, that specific website into that domain. So maybe as example, this one. So just go and click on that. And I'll have to wait until the page load. So here, as an example, I can simply connect to a custom domain. I'll just go and enter, an example, that custom domain and click on Let's Go. Of course, here they'll take me to buy it, as an example. Yeah, so for me, I'll just go, as an example, and type like this one. It's already owned, I guess, this one. 
so I click on let's get let's go and I'll wait for it as example so yeah they will take me right away to connect a domain so all I need to do here simply uh, is taken is it yours yes as example if you own this domain click on it in here and you can simply as you can see they'll ask you to upgrade a Wix uh, plan to connect it so you'll need to go and get a plan as example to connect the domain so to connect a domain as example yeah custom domain make sure to get a better plan a light will work seven dollars and you will get some features other features with it as example a lot of other features with this so good as example make sure to get it once you get it as an example you'll be able to simply enter your here click on yes i own this domain and basically they will give you some dns records what should you do with those records they will give you like two records they will give you c name record and a record so just go to those dns settings and you'll be able to start editing those records in here you can go to and add the c name or like record the type should be c name host should be www the point uh, should point to ads and tll uh, ttl uh, should be one hour and you can add or you should add another record a record type should be a of course host add point to uh, the 23.236.62.1 147 or the ip address provided by wix normally it should be this one but it's maybe different normally they always uh, provide this one and the ttl of course should be again one hour then save the changes and you'll have to wait a bit after the changes should propagate once you do so you can go back here you'll find a verify option uh, once you once they give you this dns record you'll find the ver verify button click on it if it's verified good job you can set your uh, domain as primary on wix and you're already good to go you'll have just to wait for propagation and it's connected to your Wix Studio without any problem. So this is going to be it for me today. Thank you for watching and goodbye.